plagued by a growing list of scandals. What's a president to do? How we will lead. We have seen how President Barack Obama manages crises. From the troubled rollout of the health care website. We fumbled the rollout on this health care law. Fumbled the ball. We did fumble the ball. These are two fumbles. To scandals, like the IRS targeting of political groups and the VA's cooked record-keeping books. Uh, this is my administration. I always take responsibility for whatever happens, and this is an area that I have a particular concern with. Prolific author, professor, and psychoanalyst Stanley Renshin has spent years analyzing Barack Obama's management style. Renshin's book, Barack Obama and the Politics of Redemption, was published in 2011. These are not problems that are new to the president. He, he's known about them. The question is, he hasn't had the will or the focus to want to do something. For Obama's critics, the president's way of managing crises is now something of a predictable science. When you have a president who doesn't want to fire anybody, wants to make it appear that he supports them, even if he's going to replace them, I think you have a problem with leadership. But the president's supporters see a man completely in command during times of domestic peril. He's handling his presidency with great seriousness, with a great conviction, values-based, and in a way that he's answerable to the Amer accountable to the American people uh, for the result that will come from it without necessarily having it be popular at the moment. Republican analysts opine that Obama handles each scandal like the one before, as if a playbook was glued to his back pocket. His first order of business, duck, then deny, and finally deflect. Political analyst Richard Vatz breaks the playbook down like this. Let the scandal brew before acknowledging it. Tell the public he too just learned about it from the media. Then bring in a fix-it person. We have seen this with the VA, IRS, and flawed health care website. Renshin summed up Obama's management style in just one word. Poignant. Why poignant? Look, if somebody who could have done a lot better loses out because of his own proclivities, I don't know how much more psychologically you can get by calling it poignant. In Renshin's view, Obama took his eyes off the presidency and set his sights on the future, his legacy. I'm Christine Frizzau, CBS 21 News.